The Attack on Titan movie turned Barrett Holt into this bald old dude and even added some modern technology like an Apple TV remote. Here are the 23 weirdest changes I found in the Attack on Titan movies. Like, can you see the big mistake in this scene? The Attack on Titan anime is set sometime before 1942, but when I was watching the movie, I saw this 1950s style jukebox, something that hadn't even been invented yet. But the tech mistakes get even worse because about 15 minutes after I discovered the jukebox, the movie cut to a shot of a modern TV remote. A TV remote that was released only 15 years ago. This means that the AOT movie takes place sometime after 2007. That's 65 years after it's supposed to take place. And I guess that explains why we see crazy advanced weapons in the movie too. During a fight with a colossal titan, Hanji literally pulls out an RPG. If the anime had a couple RPGs lying around, I think less scouts would have died. These are just three of the 23 horrible changes I'm sharing. And for the 23rd fact, I reveal the single weirdest change in the entire Attack on Titan movie. But first, let's talk about how the movie completely changed Barrett Holt. In the movie, Barrett Holt isn't a handsome young man. He's an old, bald man. And to the movie's credit, they did upgrade Barrett Holt's rank because in the movie, he's not just a scout. He's actually the commander of the scout regiment. Now, at least Barrett Holt made it into the movie because one guy got completely removed. See, Barrett Holt and Reiner are basically partners in crime during the anime. But in the movie, Reiner is nowhere to be scene. That's right, they completely erased the armored titan from the movie. And I was pretty mad about this, but quickly calmed down when I spotted an easter egg in the movie that secretly referenced Reiner. We all remember this scene in the anime when the female titan grabbed Reiner, but moments later he sliced his way out of her hand. Well, I think this scene is about to blow your mind. They might have removed Reiner, but this easter egg is super dope. One of the weirdest changes I saw in the movie was how much they ruined Captain Levi's character. First they gave him titan powers, and this really doesn't make sense because Levi's whole personality is that he hates titans. Why would he hate titans if he is a titan? But that's not even the worst thing they did to Levi, because the weirdest change in the movie is that he's the bad guy. In the movie, Levi's plan is to blow up both Wall Cena and Wall Rose so that all the people can be massacred. And while Levi is called humanity's strongest man in the movie, that's definitely not the case. Because there's one guy who's so strong that he's wrestling with titans and winning. This is Sanagi, and he looks just like another scout, but his secret strength completely blew my mind. In the movie, Sanagi grabs a titan and flips it over his head. And this doesn't make sense because there's nobody this strong in the anime. The the official Attack on Titan guidebook says that titans are much lighter than they look, but I refuse to believe that a normal human can do this. But even Sanagi's strength wasn't enough to defeat this horrible mistake of a titan. At first glance, this titan looks completely normal, but when the scouts start fighting it, I got a little confused because it seemed invulnerable to the scouts' attacks. Sanagi used a hatchet to chop off the titan's feet, but he barely made a dent. And this makes sense because the hatchet isn't made of special titan cutting material. But what shocked me was the fact that the ODM swords couldn't cut through the titan either. The titan clearly isn't armored, so the swords should have cut right through. But let's talk about how the movie completely changed the backstory for how titans are made. In the anime, we all know that getting injected with titan spinal fluids turns you into a titan. In the movie, scientists experimented on humans to try and turn them into titans. Apparently, they wanted to use titans as a weapon against other countries. But about a century before Aaron Yeager was born, the experiment went out of control and massive amounts of humans randomly turned into titans. Now, that's definitely a weird change, but it's also a pretty cool twist on the anime. Another odd change is the fact that Hans is actually Grisha's assistant in the movie. In the anime, Hans and Grisha always had a weird relationship. They both loved Carla, but Grisha was the one who married her. Well, in the movie, Hans helps Grisha find the power of the titans, and together, they experiment on both of Grisha's sons to try and give them the titan powers. But what the movie did to Sasha is shockingly weird. See, Mikasa and Sasha were both riding in a truck when all of a sudden, I saw Sasha offer a potato to Mikasa. This is maybe one of the craziest changes because we all know that Sasha would never ever share food with somebody else. But there's another change in the movie that's almost as bad. Just like in the anime, Jean and Eren are constantly fighting in the AOT movie. But there's one horrible change that deeply affects Jean's character. See, in the anime, Jean has survived every single thing that has happened so far. But I guess the producer of the movie wanted to change that because he killed off Jean during a fight with the Colossal Titan. And the worst part is that Jean didn't even die in a heroic way. He got slapped by a Colossal Titan and then the story moved on. Eren was enraged that the Colossal Titan killed Jean, so he used his ODM gear to get onto the Titan's back. But what doesn't make a lot of sense is how he was able to climb up the Colossal Titan's back. The Colossal Titan emits burning steam that is so hot it burnt Armin to a crisp. But in the movie, I guess they forgot or something because Eren makes it away with only his boots burnt off. Now, 
here's a big difference between the anime and the movie. The outside of Wall Maria in the anime is just trees and grass, but in the movie, they show a glimpse of what the outside world looks like, and it's absolutely crazy. There's a surrounding ocean, ruined cities, half-destroyed roads, and more. It honestly looks pretty cool. At this point, you probably understand that the AOT movie has a pretty different storyline compared to the anime. And one great example of this is the breach in Tross District. After the colossal titan kicked through the wall, the anime and the movie found different ways to fix the wall. In the anime, Eren's attack titan picked up a massive boulder and sealed the breach with it. But it's the movie version that's really interesting. They fixed the breach in the wall with not a boulder, but with a torpedo. Eren's attack titan plants a torpedo above the breach and detonates it so that the rubble can cover the hole. Do you remember the anime scene when the military first found out that Eren was a titan? Eren had to half transform into a titan to protect himself, Mikasa and Armin. Well, in the movie, something completely different happens. Right as the military is about to start shooting at Eren, he gets a shocking revelation. You're not subscribed to the channel? Hit the subscribe button right now or I'm gonna turn into a titan and eat your mom. Okay, seriously. Right as the military is about to shoot at Eren, Levi's attack titan breaks through the ceiling and grabs Eren. This is a huge change because in the anime, there hadn't been any other titan shifters introduced yet. Let's talk about Mikasa's plot armor. When the titans first break through the walls in the movie, Eren and Mikasa get separated because Mikasa runs to save a baby on the ground. Eren gets dragged into a safe house and the last thing that he sees is a huge titan reaching down for Mikasa. He assumes that Mikasa dies here, but two years later, he's shocked to find out that Mikasa is alive. This is where the plot armor comes into play. Mikasa explains that somehow the Titan managed to eat the entire baby while only leaving a scratch on Mikasa's side. How the heck did a Titan manage to eat a baby but not eat Mikasa? Speaking of babies, I need to bring up this romantic couple in the Scout Regiment. Listen, I've got nothing against the couple, but they're extremely weak and afraid the entire time. It's pretty weird to include them in the movie because in the anime, both the boyfriend and the girlfriend would have been weeded out for being too weak during the scout training. And speaking of romance, let's talk about the biggest changes the movie's made. One of the most important unwritten rules of the anime is that the anime should never directly acknowledge a romance between the main character and a girl. Well, about 10 minutes into the movie, Hans catches Mikasa and Eren doing something dangerous, and he cracks a joke saying that Eren is trying to impress Mikasa. I get that it's a live action, but I still think they should have followed basic anime rules. But what was that dangerous thing that Eren and Mikasa were doing? Well, at the very beginning of the movie, Eren, Mikasa, and Armin tried to sneak outside of the walls. In the anime, however, the very first episode begins with Eren daydreaming on a field. It's pretty interesting that they decided to change the intro into something a bit more exciting. And it's in this sneaking out scene that the AOT movie made two big mistakes. See, just as Hans was lecturing Eren and Mikasa for sneaking out, the colossal titan starts kicking the wall. The first mistake here is why exactly Eren and the gang didn't run away. If the wall in front of them is noticeably being hit, the smart thing to do is to run away. But instead, everybody just stood there staring. And the second big mistake is how Eren and his friend survived. See, when the Colossal Titan finally broke through the wall, the sheer force of his kick launched tons of rocks into the air at extremely fast speeds. This rock even destroyed the top of a building. So despite standing right in front of the hole, Eren and his friends all survived? Seems like another movie mistake to me. Here's probably the weirdest change in the entire movie. See, the movie added one thing that the anime doesn't have at all, a buff pure titan. Just look at this dude, he's jacked. Even though he's a pure titan, some of the titan shifters might have difficulty finding him because of those muscles. Now, use your muscles right now and click this video to watch part one of the series about the AOT movies. Check it out!